Hi guys, um, on this video I'm just going to show you um, how to damp, how to make a damp of the UHC from uh, Reno Clio uh, Phase 2, 2002. Um, this, uh, obviously I've, I've removed the UHC already. Um, I'm, I'm going to skip that step how to do it. Um, it's not difficult. Uh, it's placed underneath the glove box um, on this particular car and um, uh, it's just secured basically with a one bolt and a bracket it's quite easily to actually remove. Uh, this uh, this one is actually um, I, mean, I don't know if you can see there, uh, it's a, a sergeant okay, this one and um, I'm going to now proceed to open actually the UHC so we can locate the the chip and and carry on for it. Okay, see, see you in a bit. Okay, um, I'm back. Um, here is the PCB. Okay, this is the interior of the UHC. Here it is. I've located already the chip we want to dump which is a uh, ST uh, the 93C66 I'm going to point it at it at the moment so this is the chip this one there okay this is the one we need to dump okay I'm going to use the hot hair gun to remove the chip I'm not going to show you how to do it I presume you know already how to desolder and solder the chip back again and uh, uh, we'll be back in a minute for the next step okay okay I'm back again uh, the chip has been now removed um, let me just show you there so as you can see sorry guys uh, as you can see over there let me focus a little bit there's no chip anymore okay this is where it is or it was Oh, there it is, and the chip is just over here. Okay, there it is. Uh, be always careful for the chip position when you take it off. Make always sure you know the position. Okay. Uh, uh, if you uh, forget or you are not sure or something like that, just to download the data sheet for this chip and see where the ground is okay check where the ground is and then you can just follow on the motherboard see where the ground is for example on this motherboard ground is going to be no oh, sorry it's going to be that pin over there okay that one there you can see it's connected to the ground of the motherboard so i know that pin over there which is going to be the hang on a minute one two three four it's going to be Pin number five, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that will be the ground. Anyway, I know the letters are facing that way, so I know it's coming like that. But always make sure you know how to put it back. Okay. Now I'll try to do this now straight without stop the video. Okay. Now I'm going to use you you can use any programmer that is able to read this chip uh, anyone will do um I don't okay in a minute so I'm going to try going to try to use that one there it's this data man okay this one I'm going to try to use now so I'm going to place the chip over there Okay, it's going to be quite difficult to do this. Pinch uh, face that way. Okay, guys, it's, it's impossible to do this like this. Uh, I'm going to have to put the chip in there, and then I'll be back. Okay, um, right, now we're going to read, I've placed the chip there already, as you can see, 
Okay. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the Willem, Willem uh, five point PCB five point zero uh, to read the chip. Um, I usually do. I have Xprog as well. Uh, that one is not uh, does not support this chip for now. So I'm going to use that and that. Usually I take two dumps, one with each, just just to make sure they come out exactly the same. Um, so uh, let's see if I get this right. So we go there. So we we'll open the software. There is uh, the the chip is already selected, 93C66. This is a 8-bit, and I'm gonna read at 8-bit mode. Okay. So we'll go there. So we'll do now the read. Okay. Chip dump completed. Okay. Buffer. And the, the the easiest way to see if the dump came up okay is you should be able to see the the VIN number, which is just there. Uh, I know we only says zero one two three four blah blah, but this is actually what uh, can clip show me on this particular chip as well, and you should see it repeated twice okay there is as well okay uh, next I'm gonna use uh, Xprog to do the same dump and then I'm gonna compare the dumps just to make sure they come out exactly the same which they should and um, that's it that is how you do the dump okay uh, all you have to do then is just revert the entire process by resolder the chip uh, back that chip just put it back onto the motherboard, onto the PCB, put it back together. That's it. Uh, with that temp now, you can uh, extract the pin code, so you can program new keys or uh, access to special functions inside the UHC. There we go. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, hope you help someone.